Please point north. East. East. West. South. North. Up. North. Down. South. Up. North. Class, are north and up the same thing? <laughs> Good. Some people confuse them, agreed? North and up, not the same. So what we're going to do now is we're going to change the numbers slightly. One is north, two is south, three is east, four is west, five is up, six is down, and seven is no force. We're going to have basically a table. I'm going to give you the charge of the particle. Ah, I missed a bunch of letters. The particle. I'm going to give you the direction of the velocity or the direction of the magnetic field, or the direction of the magnetic force. I'm going to give you two out of the three, or three out of the four, and you have to figure out the other one. So here we go. The first one looks like this. We have a positive particle, which has a velocity which is north, and the magnetic field is east. And you are trying to find the direction of the magnetic, it goes in reverse order, the direction of the magnetic force. Fours, fives, and sixes, and all I have to do is look right there. Fours, fives, and sixes, and eight. Fours, fives, and sixes. <laughs> oh, and a one. All right, we have our cardinal directions. Here we go. The velocity is north, so we point north. The direction of the magnetic field is east, so we curl our fingers east. And our thumb points class down, which is six. <laughs> Did someone use the left hand rule? Oh, I'm sorry. Ricky. Remember, right? Okay. So we have a positive charge. We know the direction of the magnetic field is down. We know the direction of the magnetic force it is east. We are trying to find the direction of the velocity. So this one's a little bit different. Because up until now, we've known the velocity every time. Now we don't know the velocity. So we're trying to figure out the direction of the velocity. Five, sixes, ones, a seven, a couple sevens. All right, now, when you don't have the velocity, should you start with the magnetic field or the magnetic force? I wouldn't start with the field because the field curls, right? The thumb, it actually makes sense because that's in a consistent direction. So I would actually start with the direction of the magnetic force, which is east. So the magnetic force is going to be that. We need to have our magnetic field down. So the magnetic field is going to be down. Right? And in order to get there, one of the things that helps is some of you, some of you are like trying to do it like this. Right? I'm done. Great. Turn your body. Hold your hand like this. The thumb points, remember, east. The magnetic field is going to point down. In order to get there, we have to have curled from that direction, which is south. So again, don't be too cool for the right hand rule. <laughs> Last one. We have a negative particle, which is moving downward in a, well, and we know the magnetic force is west. What is the direction of the magnetic field? Negative charge moving down, magnetic force is west. Let's 
the direction of the magnetic field. Ones, twos, ones and twos. The complicated part of this one class is which part? Negative it's a particle. negative particle, which means the force is going to be from our right hand rule. What direction should we point our thumb? East, because remember, the magnetic force is opposite the direction of your thumb if you have a negative charge. So I would start by pointing my thumb east. The velocity was down. So we curl our fingers and we get north. 